When it comes to gymnastics, hard work and determination rule the arena. But unfortunately for some, this simply isn't enough. With small mistakes made at the worst time possible, causing the gold medal to slip from their fingers. As you can imagine, this is a pretty harrowing experience. But who are the gymnasts who slipped up like this? And how did they cope with the disappointment afterwards? For all this and more, stay tuned. Number one, Michaela Maroney loses it in London. First up on our list is Michaela Maroney, the California native who was very much the anchor of the U.S. women's gymnastics team back in 2012 at the London Olympic Games. And for those of you who need a bit of a reminder, Maroney was also heavily favored to walk away with gold in the vault event. The pressure was, however, a bit too much for the gymnast, who was just 16 years old at the time. After nailing her first launch, she went on to slip during her second, which caused her to mess up her rotation and land with her butt squarely on the ground. Suffice to say, her hopes of grabbing gold came crashing down, and Sandra Izbasa of Romania instead pulling off a fantastic move and securing the medal for herself. It's by far one of the most famous slip-ups in gymnastics history, with Maroney's time on the podium being made into a meme later on because of the look on her face. In just a few days, the Michaela is not impressed face began to spread across the internet. And surprisingly enough, this brought more attention to gymnastics than any other event in the history of the sport. It might not have been for the reasons she wanted, but at least Maroney got the recognition she deserved. It's just a pity she couldn't walk away with the gold medal as well, but we suppose you can't win them all. Number two, Simone Biles drops out of the Tokyo Games. Taking over from Michaela Maroney after the young star's retirement from gymnastics was Simone Biles, though. The 24-year-old Ohio native has long been referred to as the greatest gymnast of all time. So, as you can imagine, the hype over Biles and her fellow U.S. gymnastics team was sky high when it came to the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games. In fact, the young legend was set to walk away with at least six gold medals by the time the torch had been scuffed out. Unfortunately for her though, things didn't quite go that way. But this wasn't completely her fault. You see, a lot of controversy was following the American girls at the time. Not only were they questioned for not staying in the Olympic Village like the rest of the gymnast, they were also watched like hawks following the controversial mishandling of gymnasts by the now arrested predator, Larry Nesser. And as it turns out, this was a bit too much for Biles, who started off at the games by making a number of uncharacteristic mistakes. In the end, she made the decision to withdraw from the Olympics, citing mental health problems as the reason for her dropping out. Just like that, the most impressive athlete of our generation found herself with no golds in her pocket. But at the same time, she made waves by ensuring that mental health was taken seriously in the world. Thanks to her, it's no longer longer a taboo subject for professionals. Number three, Kohei Ichimura's literal slip from the bar. Biles wasn't the only athlete who didn't live up to expectations during the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games though. In fact, there was another legend of the sport who had his dreams slip away because of a simple lack of concentration. We are of course referring to Kohei Uchimura from Japan, who at 32 years old knew that the Tokyo Games was going to be his last chance at walking away with a gold Gold medal, and being crowned King Kohai had its perks, with many critics heralding the man as the greatest thing since sliced bread. Suffice to say, the pressure was on, and for some reason appeared to get to the best of Kohei in qualifying. For those of you who don't remember, the seemingly infallible athlete found his hand slipping from the high bar during his routine, which resulted in him falling to the mat and eliciting a gasp from the small crowd that had gathered in the arena due to COVID-19. What made this worse is that Kohai had already announced his retirement after the games, so fans knew that they would never see him compete again. This would be the last event he was known for, and the legendary athlete had unfortunately flubbed it by simply losing track of his grip. Japan did go on to win a few medals at the games, but there's no doubt that Kohei Uchimura felt ashamed for not adding to the tally, especially since the games were being held in his hometown. Number four, Madison Koshin almost ruins the day for U.S. women women's gymnastics. Back in 2016, before the whole Simone Biles incident, the U.S. women's gymnastics team was simply unbeatable. It didn't matter what event or activity you put in front of them. There was no doubt whatever they would be able to conquer it with flying colors. That being said, there was one gymnast from the team who unfortunately ruined the golden run of the American girls by flubbing her routine at the Rio Olympics. We're of course referring to Madison Cochin, the Dallas native who ended up losing out to Alia Mustafina of 
of Russia in the uneven bars event. It's not like this flub ended her career though. In fact, she narrowly missed out on the gold medal in the end with her competitor beating her by just 0.67 on average. That being said, Koshin did lose her cool in the end. You see, after Mustafina had opened herself up to being beaten by landing with a wobble in her step, Koshin followed this with a routine that wasn't exactly business as usual. The couple of handstands that she performed were lackluster at best, and although this isn't a difficult trick to pull off, the judges saw this and marked her down. A simple lapse in attention, and Koshin was unfortunately at the receiving end of the silver medal at Rio. And if she had corrected herself in time by paying attention to her transfers, she would have no doubt walked away with gold. Number 5. Michaela Skinner wins silver in Tokyo Another US women's gymnast who made history this year by walking away with a silver medal in Tokyo was Michaela Skinner. And the story behind her success is a pretty fantastic one. You see, a team is only allowed to have two competitors in a particular event at the games, and since America had both Simone Biles and Jade Carey on the payroll, Skinner didn't end up qualifying. A small mistake in her routine leading up to the games was to blame for this, but she accompanied the team to Tokyo just in case. And it's a good thing that she did, as just a few days before she was scheduled to leave the country, Biles made the announcement that she would be withdrawing from the tournament, allowing Skinner to have her time in the spotlight. Knowing that this could very well be her last chance to secure a gold medal at the games, Skinner stepped forward with determination on her face and launched into a beautiful vault that could only be faulted on its average landing. This was unfortunately the reason for her losing out to Rebecca Andrade of Brazil. But it goes without saying that Skinner was more than happy with that silver medal she secured in the process. She wasn't even meant to compete after all, and she still ended up beating her fellow teammate, who finished just 8th in the event. It might not have been gold, but it was well worth the wait for Skinner. Number 6. Sunny Lee blames Twitter for distracting her from victory. Last but not least, we can't walk away from the 2020 Tokyo Olympics without at least mentioning Sunny Lee, who ended up achieving bronze in the uneven bars to the shock and horror of her fans. For those of you who don't know, Lee is one of the most experienced American gymnasts of her time, despite being only 18 years of age. And when it comes to the uneven bars, it's most certainly an event that she's proficient at. In fact, she was by far the favorite to win gold at the event, which made her eventual bronze medal an achievement of shame in the eyes of her fans. While it looked like the intense pressure of the competition had gotten to her, with the athlete seemingly forgetting her routine and continuing on with another, Lee ended up blaming Twitter for her flub. According to her, she had become too distracted by the various opinions being thrown around regarding her chances at gold, and went on to swear that she would be deleting the social media platform as a result. Suffice to say, this wasn't a great year for the US women's gymnastics. And there you have it, the various gymnasts who almost walked away with gold in recent years. What do you think of Biles withdrawing from the Tokyo Games though? And can Twitter really be to blame for Lee's mistakes? Be sure to let us know in the comment section down below.